I have a little bit of sunlight left, so it's perfect for a quick little stretching routine before the sun goes down. So, let's get to it. Since I'm a weirdo, I'm gonna stretch on top of this picnic table. But just so you know, in order to get flexible legs, you're gonna wanna stretch the whole cylinder of the leg, not just the hamstrings and the quads. So what you're gonna do is stretch the hip flexor, the quads, the IT band area, the glutes, the hamstrings, and the inner thighs. So the whole cylinder. So let's get to work starting with these hip flexors. So you're gonna start in a runner's lunge, just like this. Your front knee is above the ankle and your back leg is all the way straight and you're on your toes, just like this. Breathing deeply, sinking these hips down toward the floor to really feel that stretch. Now sink the knee down and point the toe back behind you and hold right here. Breathing deeply. So the goal is to stretch each muscle group for at least 30 seconds. Um, and you wanna stay warm, so you're gonna have to keep switching up the pose. So lift it up a little bit deeper right here. This is optional, you don't have to go this deep. And one last option, you can also reach yourself back and we're gonna switch it over to the other side. So that was around 45 seconds for that whole stretch. But we're now back to this part right here. The back leg is straight, knee is above the ankle. Breathing. So what I did is around 10 seconds per each one of these poses that I did, and it roughly goes about to um, maybe a little over 45 seconds. Drop down that knee and point the toe out behind you. Breathing deep. So, I forgot what I was going to say. I just enjoy your flexor stretches. Go ahead and lift yourself up into your lunge just like this. This is optional. You can stay down if this is too difficult for you. And if your knees hurt by being on the ground or wherever you're at, you can do it on the bed. You can put a towel under it, whatever feels best for you. Reach up behind if you like and lower yourself down. So that's the front of the leg. Now let's do the inner leg, the inner thigh. So move to butterfly stretch, but you're gonna pull it all the way in as close to you as you can get it. There's a cat that went by. And then stretch forward, breathing deeply. You can either reach forward or you can grab your legs. But either way, your goal is to get your knees to softly open to the side and your legs as close in as you can get them. Breathing deeply, just sinking forward. How was your day today? I hope it was good. If it wasn't good, I hope it's gonna get better after this. I always feel better after stretching my legs. You can also add these little shimmies and shakes if you like. Makes the stretch a little more dynamic. Just make sure you're not bouncing into pain. We want to avoid pain when we stretch. And lift yourself up, great job. Now, you're gonna cross one ankle over the other leg roll yourself down and you're gonna grab the hamstring of that leg right here. So to show you a little bit of a different angle, keep holding that stretch though, it looks like this. It's called your figure four stretch. Super, super valuable. You should be feeling it along the glute area, maybe a little bit towards the bottom of your leg as well. This is super, super healthy for the back and switch sides, breathing deeply. And also make sure your pelvis isn't lifting into the air like this. You wanna keep it all the way down. Breathing deeply. This stretch helps with low back pain. It helps with sciatica. Um, so if you sit down a lot, um, make sure you do the stretch. You can also do it while sitting down. If I'm in a chair right now, like I can just pull my leg up and stretch like that. So go ahead and do that. And lift yourself up. Great. Now we've done our hip flexors. We've done our inner thighs. And we've done a little bit of that back leg. So let's do our hamstrings. Straighten your legs all the way out, bring them all the way together, and reach toward your toes. But if you can't reach the knees, the shins, the ankles, wherever, grab wherever you can. And if it's too difficult, you can also wrap a blanket around your feet and hold that blanket, and that helps out a lot. But either way, breathing deeply, start to add a little bit of a shimmy, a bend and stretch. Great. Now stay in the stretch, but open your legs a little bit wider than shoulder width. So shoulder width is probably about there, a little bit wider than shoulder width. Start to shimmy those legs. Just 
stretch feels really, really good for me. And lift yourself up. Great job. You should feel a lot better already. But make sure that when you stretch, if you are going to stretch for a period of time, do more than just your legs. But I'll be posting an upper body stretching routine soon. Hope to see you then.